Introducing ELPM S3 LW, the ESP32 S3 and LoRa meet in one compact and power efficient module. First of all, thank you for your support in the last video. This module was designed together with the ELPM S3, so there will not be changes that many of you have requested. In this video, I want to share with you all progress we have achieved in the last few weeks during the development of the ELPM S3 LW. Objects. So, the idea behind this project is very simple, combine these two modules into one solution. As you can see, this is the first version of the ELPM S3 LW, and the main features of this module are multi-protocol and powerful module based on ESP32 S3 and SX1276, compact size module, full compatibility with LoRa and LoRaWAN, power latch circuit with RTC-like ELPM S3, integrated LDO, battery level circuit and RGB status LED under the X. So basically we have the opportunity to use three different communication protocols with the ELPM S3 LW, Wi-Fi, BLE and LoRa. So just imagine how many products and projects you can develop with this module. It's perfect for developing nodes based on LoRa and LoRaWAN, also small gateways can be designed with this module. In general, the ELPM S3LW is ideal for industrial applications. And now let's look the module in detail. But first, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. You can buy your PCBs for only $5, check the link below to place your first order. As you can see, the PCBs provided by PCBWay are great. Soldering these modules by hand is not very easy because the components are very small. And also, PCBWay manufactures these aluminum shields. Take into consideration that I will be using a pick and place machine in production. I'm setting up a production line to manufacture this project and others. I'm satisfied with the final result and you, what do you think? To simplify the use of the ELPMs, we have developed a dev kit called Objects Link. This is the first prototype we developed two months ago, so let's break down the dev kit together. Originally, the idea was to develop a compact solution, which is why we used Slimstar connectors, but we feel they are not very user friendly. That is why we will use only other connectors in the final version. How often do you find yourself developing a project and is you have to connect an external power supply or use a DC-DC step up to get a voltage higher than 5 volt? With Objects Link you no longer have to do that because it supports power delivery 3.0 PPS. You will be able to get up to 20 volt 5 ampere, so 100 watts. Trust me, that is a lot for the most of IoT project. And it's also PPS, which is mean you will be able to get a specific voltage or current value. This is a small demo. With this button, I increase the voltage by 0.5 volt each time I push it. You understand that I could use this feature to control the brightness of the LED strip and several projects can be made using power delivery. Another key feature of this dev kit is the DC-DC that support up to 58 volt can be very useful in industrial applications. And we also added an IO expander to handle for example relays or other peripherals, again for industrial use. And last but not least we tried to add in a crypto chip, honestly we don't know if it's a useful feature considering that the ESP32 S3 already provides similar features and what do you think you about that? So guys this is our first prototype of Objects Link and we have already designed a new version and I will show it in the next video. During the testing of the ELPM S3 LW I used the Zimaboard 8032 to do some tests. You can use Zimaboard for different purposes such as smart home application to connect all your devices. You can also install Red Node and other cool apps for IoT and there are many expansion ports such as PCI, SATA, Ethernet and USB and I suggest you to see the links below in the description about Zimaboard. And I thank you Zimaboard for sending me this unit and I will design several projects with this awesome product. I performed several tests, in particular I will show you the tests concerning LoRa and LoRaWAN just for your reference, in all tests I used two antenna models of 868 MHz with 3 and 5 dB. 
The first test I did was LoRa point-to-point. -point. This test consists of connecting two ELPM S3 LW via LoRa. One module sends data and the second one receives it. As you can see, it works correctly. The next test was LoRa 1 with Power Latch. In this first test with LoRa 1, I also used the Power Latch. Basically, the ELPM S3 LW module starts up every time the Power Latch is triggered and it sends data to my LoRa 1 gateway. Another test was LoRa 1 with Power Latch and RTC. This test is similar to the previous one, only that the power latch is triggered every minute by the external RTC. Remind you that until the power latch is triggered, the whole module is off. The last test I want to show you is long range test with LoRa 1. In this test, I also want to compare the ELPM S3 LW with this module I bought. Before doing the outdoor test, I did a first test in house with some obstacles and with a maximum distance between the two nodes and the gateway of 12 meters. To perform the outdoor test, I placed the gateway near the window of my house. Then I drove away with the, the two nodes in my car and I did the test in the city where there are several obstacles yet the node lost connection with the gateway after 1.2 kilometers. The signal strength of the ELPM S3 LW is better compared to the other module. From my point of view this is a very good result and by doing other tests I can ensure you that the module can work at maximum distance from the gateway between 5 and 10 km without any obstacles. This is the new version of the ELPM S3 LW. As you can see it's so different compared with the first version. I made some changes and also followed many of your suggestions. First I added castellated holes and reducing the size of the module. Now it's easier to solder the pads and it's easy to use the module in your design. The shield is no longer made of aluminum but tin plated stainless steel. I changed the SX1276 to SX1262 and also now you can set the frequency band between 868 and 915 MHz. I added a ceramic antenna for Wi-Fi and BLE, so for ESP32 S3. There are two 50 ohm pads to install external antennas and there is also a second LDO to power only the LoRa side of the module. So I have improved the wall power unit, it's now possible to individually power the following components, so the ESP32 S3, the SX1262, the RTC and RGB LED. And now the wall power block that includes power latch and RTC will be called a deep stop. In the bottom side there is also a useful C screen and now we have a standard footprint for the ELPM S3 and the ELPM S3 LW. The difference between the two modules will merely be the inclusion or absence of the LoRa portion. And the design is now optimized for mass production. If you have any suggestions to add more features please write them below. In the description you can find the link to download the documentation of the ELPM S3 LW. The ELPM family is growing and I'm already working on other versions of the module. In the last few weeks I've been working hard to improve the project and everything is almost ready for the sale of the ELPM S3 and ELPM S3 LW. For now I will sell engineering samples of the modules and also the dev kit, in this way you will also be able to try them out easily. I'm also working about the certification of the modules and so guys what do you think about this new module? I look forward to your feedbacks below and thank you guys for watching this video until the end and see you next time!